Hey, welcome to Razor Active and another episode of EPL Mouth Off. I'm Han Kyung. Um, raise yourself as we dive into a lively discussion on EPL matches that took place over the weekend, okay? With me in the living room are uh, Shawal, Menu fan, uh, Benjamin Thomas, an uh, Arsenal fan masquerading as a Leicester <laughs> City uh, supporter. Team. Team. And uh, we have Sean. Uh, who is uh, very rare, very rare here? It's a, from Spurs, uh. Spurs. Let's try not to make fun of that him we later will try, on. Okay? We'll try. We'll, we'll try. San Antonio yeah. Spurs. Uh. Uh, so San Antonio Spurs. San Antonio Spurs. Yeah, Spurs. But never mind. Okay. So anyway, you know, after a long break in, of international football, you know, where we see like famous, famous footballers playing against like people from Kazakhstan, people from Belarus, or. It's, it's nice to be, you no, know, to have to be back to one more the new another week of uh, EPL action, you no. Know. So you know, this week, you no, know, there's a uh, form the big four are of course up against um, uh, this is what we call three point matches. If nothing goes wrong, they should get three points. Uh. all right, let's cut to the chase. All got three points, but the way they got it was you no know, far very much different. And also at the same time, you can send in your online comments to us so we can have a good laugh, okay? So keep sending in, okay? <laughs> so like, like, let's start at Anfield, okay? Uh, Liverpool, second place in the league, um, unbeaten. You know, they, they started off, uh, well, their best premiership start of the season. Um, so um, what happened was that uh, they faced against a Wigan side, which you know, you think I, uh, they are Anfield against Wigan. Easy three points, uh, but... It's anything but easy. Uh. Do you have the footages of it? Uh, okay. So anyway, it ended up 3-2. And after Liverpool went 2-1 down in uh, by half-time. Two superb goals. Not say superb goals. Uh, the second one was a superb goal by, by Amir Zaki. First one was a howler from uh, Liverpool defender Daniel Eger. But the count, you know, uh, scored the first goal. Then second, uh, they, are, they are reduced to 10 men, you know. Yeah. So, you know. So what what happened was that you know um, Albert Rera got the equalizer and finally you know um, the cup got the winner in the 85th minute I think uh, we can watch the the clip now we roll the clip man ah nice howler Agassini didn't want the ball from Reina, but once he gets it, he's so flat. He was always liable to be punished. To be fair, great pressure on the ball, as we've seen from the first whistle from Wigan. They really have pressed the ball. ball. Well it's not full. Cool. No signing, yeah. And this is not signing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to see? Windows open. That's it. Yeah. You don't have to get him. I don't think we need him, actually. Once yeah. Zaki wins it. Well, so. One touch and off once he gets one in. One touch. And look at the way he did it. So and good. Look. Even the no, whole game was harassing Carragher. He's, he's, he's built for the finishing. He's got size, the strength, yeah. and the pace. It's like Alan Shearer all over again. So the Newcastle one. Newcastle. But Daniel Eiger recovered well. Oh, this is a nice it's a good run. Nice it's a very good run. He crossed the ball in. Yeah. 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 One two got the ball. Yeah. One two. Yeah. Yeah. Great yeah. cut. So interesting yeah. Last cut. Oh. But it caught second goal. It's soft. That's too bad. He also uh, just hit it, right? Or something like that. I like the comment that just says he deliberately hit into the ground. I don't think he did. <laughs> I don't think he did. But he picked whichever way they come, man. <laughs> yeah, he'll just take them. That's all for Dirty Joe's last game. Shoot. Hard game, bro. Hard game, bro. To throw the ball into the box earlier than he did, but he just took a run into the box. Oh. Got his head up. Yeah, Rick had a huge impact on all this. That's only when they actually won the game. But had the presence of mind just to continue his run, pick up coach. Good finish. Look at the run. Like made the mistake in the first place. It's friends back on ball. He's walking. <laughs> he's always walking actually. <laughs> that friends back on no, ball. That's the thing. Till this guy came. Till this guy came. Then he was uh, pressed. Then yeah. Uh, but we got mid look at that. That was a good turn. That was a good turn. Oh, oh centre back. That was a good turn. It's a very simple one two. Yeah. Really? Oh, this is this, this is amazing. Just, this is but look at that. Look at the two defenders. The two defenders they should have played it. See, as soon as the ball is shot, I don't know who the. It's, it's lucky the bounce appear. got back to him, and then. Uh, but you can't look, as soon as the ball goes in, the defender ah, says. A, I think it's Agger again. Straight away blames no. the other two at the edge. Either Agger or Abaloa. 
Oh man, but you can't take anything away from the finish, man. Finish the movie. That's why I said it's not the defenders, it's the two at the... At the yeah, the two that should have cleared the yeah, ball. Because yeah, once the ball goes in, nothing you can do. This guy's gonna change the view, right? Yeah, yeah. Too good, right? See, these two. Who's two and five, right? Uh, Dosena and uh, Agar. Okay, Agar again. Agar, yeah. <laughs> and who is? That will be Abeloa and Jermaine Pennant. Abeloa, yeah, yeah. see, look at that. That's Alonso, I think, jumping for the world. 23 is Carragher. Carragher immediately turns to uh, Dosena oh, no, and Abeloa. Uh, Abeloa. Uh, no, but that one wasn't easy. Yeah, that was just a good call. Yeah. But Carragher immediately turns to uh, Dosena and uh, I can't say what we do. Because really, that's where it should be. Yeah. Alright, we only got uh, the first half, but you can see, um, obviously, it was uh, quite a tough uh, tough uh, deal for Liverpool. But they still managed to come back um, and finally still get their full three points. So, um, um, I'd like to ask um, their, the, the, the fans of their rivals, you know, do you, do, you, do you really think that, you know, like Benjamin asked you, do, do, you, do you really think that, you know, with... They they keep on bragging about you know having good spirit about this. Uh, uh, they are managing to come back so many times this already this early in this season. But do you think that is it? Um, is it good or not? Is it is it is it good for them to to keep on trailing behind and then coming back? Or not? I think three points is always three points. It is good if it is something that they build on. Because there's going to come a time where if they go 1-0 behind to Chelsea, they're not going to come back. Having said that, they did go behind 1-0 to yeah. United and come back. But I think it's you, there's only so much in the Premiership you can push your luck. And I think there's also the fact that City lost the man, Wigan lost the man. So, I mean, you can argue whether losing the man is what helped because sometimes when you go a man down, the team actually plays better. Yeah. But... If they build on it, they, 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 they use that, that energy to make sure, okay, we know we can come back. Now let's make sure we don't have to come back. We go in front and stay in front. I think it's something to build on. Right. So, so of course, you all got the, got the receiving end of a <coughs> Liverpool comeback. Yeah. But uh, do, you think, do you think this kind of form you know, is, is, is championship winning form? Oh, yeah, Liverpool? Yeah. yeah I mean, I mean um, I've, I've got to give them credit. I mean, they took advantage of the um, 10 men. Mm. So, but uh, I I think the game changed because of the red card actually, and you know it's just <laughs> it's terrible. I mean, it's just lucky again, la, Seriously, for me this week, uh, you you go you go ten men down, and that's when the game actually changed. They were they were level for a while mm. till that that you no know, that red card came. Yeah, yeah, kind of. You got so teams in the Premiership trading a uh, four on fives and eleven on tens. So they are expected to take take the advantage of uh, ten men. So that that ten men advantage actually changed the game. I don't think it's because um, uh, you know ten men actually are supposed to play better or anything like that. That's what I feel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like to see them try the same thing uh, <laughs> against Chelsea and Stamford Bridge Chelsea. on Sunday. Okay. So anyway, but Amir Zaki, well, oh. top scorer this of the whole Premiership. No, the biggest Amir Zaki, two great goals now, uh, and then. Uh, don't you think that Sean, maybe maybe your Spurs will die to have this kind this kind of player instead of like Roman Pavlochenko or Darren Ben? I, I think we have changed enough strikers, eh? <laughs> <laughs> of course. But probably I I think it's a the supply from midfield which is not really working. You talk about I mean you you can have um, what Aaron Lennon you can have um, Jermaine Janus. The the thing is they are wingers, you see. But when we look at the Premiership, those good teams, they have someone who, who can anchor the midfield. Mm. And if someone can run run their hearts out, I, I think it, it's going to be an advantage. We will talk about Man U, you have Hargreaves, you have um, Michael Carrick, I mean, formerly from Spurs then. <laughs> you look at it like, even like, talk about Michael Lene, you talk about Michael Asian, all these, these, are, these are players who you show really ankle and so-called do the dirty job. Yeah. But, the but there are three of, of the four you've mentioned that haven't been playing. And this, these are when, when the depth and the quality comes in because Carrick hasn't, hasn't, hasn't been playing. Hargreaves hasn't been playing. But, but it's scored. not rocket science, is it? Yeah. You, you, you need a powerful centre-forward to, to really succeed in 
in the EPL. I mean, yeah. now now that you got Berbatov, um, Arsenal still have uh, Adibayor, you know, you know. Uh, Before they have who Vieira. thinks he's, he thinks he's Thierry Henry and plays on the wing? Do, do you think that this kind of centre forward will definitely thrive in this kind of uh, Premier League? This kind of gung ho centre forward. No? For me, I, I think that you you need us. Someone in the midfield to do the dirty job. So you still need I mean, him. in the past, Spurs we have Carrick, and I think we miss. For me, I miss Danny Murphy. Huh? In fact, it, it, it's an un- unsung hero. It's, it's like Makaleli. Yeah. I'll talk about Graveson. All this. These are. Or now we have a Cahill, yeah, Osman. Hill. Yeah. Osman. All this. They 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 run. They they cover the grounds and and they, this is they they need an engine room la. Mm. Of course, so, creativity will, will come in when you have yeah. good wingers. Mm. Right. So all defensive midfielders, uh, you have a fan here, man. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, Dennis Wise. <laughs> see, <laughs> even see, Dennis Wise. See, go ahead. Yeah. So, so your, your defensive duties are not overlooked. Okay. So meanwhile, let's carry on to the next, the other top top table clash, which is uh, Middlesbrough versus Chelsea. Now Chelsea. Coming into the match, they're missing Michael Barr, they're missing Michael Estia, they're missing Didier Drogba, missing Ashley Cole, missing everybody, la, Jose Mourinho also, la, whatever. Huh? <laughs> but, 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 you know, you, you think that, you know, against Middlesbrough, who, who are known to beat uh, top sides, you know, at home in the, their Riverside Stadium, you think Chelsea will have a tough time, right? You think, right? Wrong, man. Warlock 5-0, man, Middlesbrough. Let's... Roll to the tape and see how, how good they, they beat them. Mikel. This is spread for an advanced bridge. His cross is a good one. It's Belletti. It's 1-0 Chelsea. Now, do you think that this is Chelsea too good or Middlesbrough too bad? I think it'd be a bit hard to say bad. I mean, of course, the defence would be better. But I think it's I think both. You look at the movement of the players, they get the numbers there and everyone is doing it job. So, I, I don't think you can blame this on defence. No. So, so it's not Chelsea, uh, Middlesbrough, The defenders are trying. It, they're just in the positions. I mean, they get a bit of fortune there where the ball lands kindly, doesn't clear, but you, at the end of the day, you make your own luck sometimes. Shawan, do you think this is the best Chelsea team since the Roman yeah, they, they, era? They definitely play better football, definitely. By, by yards. Seriously, it's Scolari's work. Yeah. They're just too strong uh, at the moment. What, what, what has Scolari, what do you think Scolari has brought to, to this team? Is it, is it because of Scolari or is it any kind of uh, managers like Abraham Grant or uh, Jose Mourinho? Will? Actually, I think it's a mixture, you know. It's actually what Mourinho left, which is the whole ma- battling mentality and Scolari's, you know, beautiful football philosophy. So it's like almost a perfect blend, really. They're fighting, but they're playing football. I, I, I will say one thing in defence of Abraham Grant. I mean, I, I don't think he was the man to take Chelsea where they need to be. You think? <laughs> <laughs> but you cannot knock the fact, having been put in a very bad position as Spurs were last season as well. Um, he did well, uh, he did well to take them. I mean, they dominated United in the league final, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's the, the win that meant in the Champions League final. And they were within one win of, 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 of winning. Yeah. He's not the man to get them the football playing this way, but you have to give him credit Stabilize. for yeah. keeping them there. I think yeah. that's a but big then thing. then again, he inherited oh. Mourinho's team. Yeah. 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 But then we, we, we can argue Mourinho inha- inherited Ranieri's team. Oh, the, the, yeah, the total, but, uh, but they also no. purchased and so... But I mean, the, the, the two teams that won under uh, yeah. Mourinho were largely Ranieri's. Lampard, uh, Drogba was lousy for the first two seasons. Okay, but where were Chelsea when Ranieri was around? He converted them into a Champions yeah, but League potentially winning team. It was a whole transformation. But whereas everyone can kept them there, he didn't do much. You know, sometimes keeping them there is harder than uh, than than. For a club at Chelsea, spending millions, I don't think they just want to be there. I think spending millions as the uh, I mean, 10, 15 years ago, there's Newcastle spend millions, didn't get anywhere. Blackburn spent millions, won once, then went down. I mean, so money counts, but it's not everything. I mean, credit where credit is due. I think Mourinho did do his part to get them there, but. I think Scolari is the manager that Roman's been looking for. And definitely, a fair play. Definitely. Fair play. I mean, to get rid of someone like. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, Never Grant. Never Grant. That's how he's done it. Never Grant and bringing someone like that, I think that's the sort of. Yeah. I, I mean, credit to Roman, he's done his job. And I mm. think 
He's the manager to keep them in the top four. He's the manager to keep them in the top four. Okay, everybody not, uh, agrees that this is the team to beat, right? This season. Definitely. It's their situation. So, Simple. Yeah. How do you beat this team? For example, Spurs. Spurs are always <laughs> done well against Chelsea. Drew, drew against them, right? Yeah, one of the two points. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's a good sign. Yeah, it's good, but, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but, but how do you stop them? How do you stop this? That's when you depend on the. That's the beauty of football. That's when you depend on the beauty of football. No. Unpredictability. Yeah. You never know, man. You never know. If Spurs will beat them now. He has to <laughs> based on luck. <laughs> oh, I would. Well, the Spurs played well against them, and it was a good comeback. They got a point. I mean, oh, what a goal. to be fair yeah. to Spurs, they are one of the. As much I hate to admit this, one of only two teams to take points off Chelsea. <sighs> yeah. You know what I mean? And um, I think what clubs have to do is recognize that they are the team to beat. It's Chelsea's to throw away, but do not go there and give up even before they start. Because now a lot of teams are going to adopt the thing. Oh, we can only hope to draw, draw with them. That's the worst thing. Hope on luck. Uh. You have to just. Go. I want to yeah. see how play Chelsea. Yeah. This, no, this is very reminiscent of when Mourinho was in his second or third season because yeah. everyone was like, oh man. We're gonna lose Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. once once they get the, in front, right? First season. Then. Once first they season. get one goal in front, it's not yeah. finish. Game yeah. finish. Game over. Score in the first minute and defend. It's, ah, like, it's like what yeah. Shawal said. You yeah. just gotta go there. Eleven men, eleven men, and say we play football. If teams adopt adopt the hull attitude to football, mm. Chelsea are not gonna keep that. And as ominous as they look, they will be beaten this season. I will say that much. They will be like, I mean, at some point. Back to them. And will make we'll Arsenal's week, like. unbeaten <laughs> season really put it into perspective. Do you, do you think do you think they'll go un, unbeaten? No, nope, they will be beaten this season. They will be beaten. They will be beaten. Okay la. It means Arsenal's are still the unbeatables. Maybe next Invincibles. Week. <laughs> Liverpool. Wow. I, I think Liverpool will beat them. I really think Liverpool will beat them. It, it, it's Liverpool need that sort of match now. I'm hoping they beat them. <laughs> okay. First time a United fan is cheering for a Liverpool team. Five 0 eh? win, uh three two comeback win, Liverpool will win, okay. Because Liverpool will screw themselves up. No worries, no worries. <laughs> I mean this is this is football, isn't it? So anyway, um, this top of the table clash next Sunday will be you know, quite uh, quite good to watch I believe we'll talk more about that later but first uh, let's go let's go for a break when we come back we have the online comments yeah okay <laughs> 